Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Show video. Today I'm going to be restoring and taking a look at the Dell Inspiron 6400. I'm not going to go deep into details about this laptop, so if you want a full review of this thing, let me know by leaving a comment. This particular laptop I have here looks to be in pretty good shape, aside from some scuffs, scratches, and dirt here and there. Of course, as always, I'm going to start by cleaning and disinfecting this laptop. While it didn't look very dirty at first, there was more grime than I thought, and I ended up spending way more time cleaning this laptop than I had anticipated. One of the reasons it took me so long was that these rubber standoffs had melted, then dried out, making this gross, crusty rubber stuff that I had to painstakingly scrape out. Apparently this is a pretty common issue with this model, as I found multiple of these on eBay that look to have suffered in similar ways. I may eventually replace the melted standoffs, but since they don't really have a very practical use, I'll save that for another video. And speaking of another video, while I clean this up and restore it, I want to quickly tell you one of the reasons I even bought this laptop in the first place. First, it was really, really cheap, so I just couldn't say no. But what really intrigued me was the fact that this laptop's processor is apparently replaceable, meaning I should be able to upgrade this laptop's stock 32-bit 1GHz processor with a slightly faster one. I haven't decided which processor I'm going to go with yet because there are conflicting opinions online. I may also eventually add an SSD and more RAM to make this laptop a little faster. So the main reason I bought this laptop is just as a fun project to upgrade and see what it can handle. One thing I probably won't upgrade though is the operating system which is Windows Vista. I know people are probably rolling their eyes right now wondering why I would keep Windows Vista on here, even when some people have had success upgrading this laptop to Windows 10. And I do plan to do an operating system upgrade to Vista Ultimate sometime soon, but right now I'm happy to leave it as it is. Thankfully the previous owner installed a fresh copy of Windows Vista Home Basic. Unfortunately though, it looks like they formatted the drive when reinstalling Vista, and they didn't reinstall Dell MediaDirect or any of the original Dell bloatware, that was installed on this computer from the factory. While most people probably would be glad to get rid of that stuff, when restoring an old computer to play with, I always like to install the bloatware applications that would have been pre-installed on the system from the factory. The problem here is that Dell MediaDirect is not a typical application, as it was designed to be able to run without having to start up Windows. And the way that works is it has to be installed on a separate partition from Windows. According to what I've read online, you have to install MediaDirect first before installing Windows. Which, if true, means in order to get MediaDirect back onto this computer, I have to uninstall Windows Vista first, then install Dell MediaDirect, and then reinstall Vista. So, since I don't plan to reinstall Vista in this video anyway, I'll probably do that in another video in the future. I was going to upgrade this laptop to Windows Vista Ultimate, so I'll install the software then. Another thing that this laptop seems to be missing is some drivers. Most of them were there, but for some reason the laptop didn't see that there was a battery, even though the battery worked fine. I suspect that is because some kind of driver, probably a chipset driver or something, isn't properly installed. Other than that, this laptop is running pretty well and seems to be quite capable enough to play basic games without any problems. As I mentioned though, I was surprised to find that the battery in this laptop lasts about an hour or so despite the system not seeing that it's there. Hopefully in an upcoming video I can resolve some of this laptop's issues and restore it to the way it was when it left the factory 16 years ago. Thanks so much for watching this short video. If you did enjoy it and you would like to see more videos of this laptop because there are absolutely more in the making, be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. Again, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.